All right, back again, and uh, today we got out the old uh, PC Engine, and this is the CD-ROM 2 unit. And uh, today, instead of making a gaming video, I wanted to show you a little bit of um, some problems that can happen with your CD-ROM 2 unit here. Now, um, this, uh, this unit that I have right here, this is the interface unit. And uh, with this machine here, you can remove um, each part, so you can remove the PC Engine part and uh, you can swap it out. You can also swap out the CD-ROM 2 part. It just slides in and slides out. Um, one thing that you'll find is sometimes you'll find on the net or on eBay you'll find some of these interface units. Sometimes they'll have the CD-ROM 2 um, but they won't have the PC Engine part or they'll have the PC Engine part not the CD-ROM 2 or they'll have neither. They'll just have the interface unit. But um, most likely, if you find one that just has the CD-ROM 2, the reason why they're selling it with just the CD-ROM 2 is because the CD-ROM 2 doesn't work. Um, today, I just want to show you a little bit of what uh, can happen with the CD-ROM 2 and what symptoms to look for um, or to listen for when, uh, when your uh, system starts to fail on you or if there's a problem with it. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you how to fix it because um, in the 15 or so machines that I've found uh, that have had the same exact problem, uh, I haven't been able to find repair parts from one machine that are going to work for all, um, all of the situations. So I've just found bits and pieces here to repair them. So um, yeah, I'll show you where, where to look for the problem and what the problem is, but as far as uh, repairing it, you're going to have to be really creative uh, uh, your, yourself here to try and um, you know, put it back together. So first off, what we'll do is um, you know, we'll push the uh, power switch up here. This is one that's got some issues right now, so that's the reason why I decided to make this video. But we'll turn that on, and uh, what that does is connects the power uh, to the unit. So now we got power going through both of these. Um, you got to make sure that you have some sort of system card in here. This is a super system card. You can use just a regular system card for it, um, and it'll uh, allow the CD-ROM 2 to, to operate. But when we throw the switch on this, we'll look up here at our monitor, and uh, you'll see it's got the super CD-ROM uh, 2 system um, screen up. And if you look inside here, uh, we got a disk. So you got Ease 3. And when we press the start button, here is something that you'll need to uh, remember if you're having any problems with your uh, CD-ROM 2. This is one uh, problem, so just listen. Can you hear that uh, just ticking sound? If you look up here, it says just a moment. If you look here, it says it's, you know, it's trying to read it. If you look down though, the disc isn't spinning. Um, it's really hard to see through this camera, but the disc isn't spinning. What that sound is, is that's the sound of the motor that turns the lens, um, or turns the gear for the lens to move the lens backwards and forward. Um, if you hear this sound, most likely you're gonna have a problem with uh, the middle gear. There's three gears on this lens, and there's a middle gear that you're, you're gonna have problems with. It's plastic. Um, if it makes a constant spinning sound, it means that the gear is probably shaved off or there's nothing left of the gear, it's cracked and fallen off, um, something of that nature. If when you put in a CD, uh, unfortunately I can't, uh, I can't do it with this one because you know the gear is obviously not there, but um, if you put in a disc and you're not getting anything to start up, one thing that you'd want to check is uh, open it up here and Try to um, physically move the lens. You know, I, I'm not saying you know go in there with a screwdriver or something, but uh, you know, see if you can move the lens backwards uh, by using some sort of safe means, and get the get the lens to move back. Close it again and hit uh, hit the the run button. And if you can hear the lens move forward, or if you can see the lens move forward, then you know okay the gear's working all right and it's probably just a uh, you know, dirty lens or something like that. But when you press start, if you notice this lights up and it says just a moment on the screen up there, probably once again it's a problem with that gear, that same middle gear. And uh, instead of being stripped, what it probably is is the gear has crumbled and then locked between um, itself and then the, uh, the gears located next to it. 
and uh, that's the main reason why uh, the lens isn't coming back far enough and it's not coming back far enough so it won't engage the uh, the spindle here to start spinning um, we'll take this thing apart as quick as we can uh, we got about five minutes left so I can show you exactly where that uh, that gear is located and like I said it is a really common problem for these um, CD-ROM 2's it's not impossible to um, to repair it's just like I said you gotta try and find the parts or be creative with the parts on your own um, in order to get this done so here's the back piece we got some screws up here we got about four screws so what you want to do is take off your screws this one's already been taken apart and um, unfortunately the next part hasn't been uh, hasn't been done but uh, in here you should see just one screw so you're gonna have one lonely screw so what you'll do is take out your screw here and you might need a smaller screwdriver because um, they've used different kinds of screwdrivers throughout this uh, throughout this board so once you get it out you should be able to lift this board just a little bit now the problem here that you're going to encounter is um, the board's going to be connected by different straps all the way around it so you're going to want to make sure that you're careful when you're lifting up on this board one major one is uh, it's got a ribbon over here and you don't want to rip this ribbon because that ribbon uh, goes to the laser itself so you can pull down on these two tabs these two white tabs here and it should click and then you can pull that ribbon out there's also one more thin ribbon over here on this side which you don't want to rip out and once again you want to try and pull down there and you can unsnap that now we have the main part of this board exposed and if you can look in here I know it might be difficult to see you're gonna see uh, well you're gonna be able to see down here I'll use my screwdriver there is a gear that's located um, right here this gear is for the motor itself now there's a bare spindle here and this is the problem um, this is where the uh, the middle gear is supposed to be and what you'll find in a lot of cases is um, these gears will normally this first gear and this third gear here will be pure white but when you look at this middle gear it's gonna be um, like a butter color and uh, just similar to uh, Super Famicom cartridges where the back part turns yellow and the front part uh, turns, you know, or stays the same color. So does this gear. Um, what it does is it turns a different color, it becomes brittle, and over time it just breaks off. So all of the teeth that are on it just become, uh, you know, just a round surface. So when this motor engages, it uh, it just spins around this gear this gear doesn't engage anything here and this is the gear that actually moves your uh, your laser um, your laser assembly forward and backwards so you really want to be careful when uh, when you uh, uh, when you're taking the gear out and when you go to put a new gear in because um, there is no gear that I've been able to find like I like I've tried to say there is no gear that will specifically work for this um, you might have to just look for a gear uh, from an old clock alarm clock radio um, you know a really old broken game system something like that that you can use to fit in there and uh, if you can find something to fit in there um, it has to be very precise the inside uh, diameter of that hole has to fit around this spindle perfectly and the gears have to line up and if they don't line up then you're going to wind up having the uh, the lens uh, and the laser sometimes go out and stick or come back and stick and uh, you're going to have some more problems but that is where you're going to find um, your main problem here for the CD-ROM 2 other than that, I haven't found any other problems with this unit. It's pretty solid except for that one stupid gear. And, um, you know, if they would have made that gear a lot more solid, uh, this thing would probably be lasting well over 20, 30 years, you know. But uh, unfortunately, because of that one gear, like I said, that's located here, um, you're going to run into a lot of problems with it. So, if you're having problems with your uh, system, I recommend taking it apart. Like I said, be careful of these ribbons here, the ones that are located up here, and then the one that's located on the side. Uh, be careful when you take it apart. Try and find a gear that'll fit around that spindle, and uh, yeah, good luck trying to put it back together. But, like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.